do a little sideways. Look at that. Falling sideways. You see that? So that, my friends, is the advantage of air mode. Hello, hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and as you can see, I am out in the field, literally a field, and that's a little bit different, and that's why today, well, I was just out here flying, and I thought today would be a good time to show you um, the difference between air mode and acro mode in flight, because I've talked a little bit about that before, because air mode and acro mode can be kind of really confusing, because it's like, what? How does it work? What does it do? As I said in my other uh, video, a, uh, just a very simple explanation of air mode and acro mode, or air mode specifically. So acro mode just means that your quad will not auto level. So you have complete control over um, how much it rolls and in any direction, total control. Air mode is an, kind of an extra feature. And what air mode does is basically it resists any movement, any uh, outside forces on the quad um, by uh, by increasing or decreasing the the motor speed um, automatically. So if I tell it to fly in like this, and I just want to fall through the air just like this, with air mode on, it's gonna it's gonna work a lot better to stabilize the quad so that I will stay just like this and smoothly. Well, it'll, it'll be smoother. It won't be as as wobbly. So you'll see that. I'm going to show you that. All right, here we go. So uh, this is the quadcopter that I'm going to be using, pretty much my standard quad at the moment. I don't think the specs on this really matter at all, but I've talked about it in other videos. In fact, if you want all the specs on this quad, go check out my flight video. I think it's called Better Now. Hey, here's a question for you. Do you like to sit or stand when you fly? What's your preferred method? Are you a sitter or are you a standard? Let me know in the comments below. Let's fly. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, uh, I'll put it in air, uh, acro mode right now. So we are armed and in acro mode. I'm going to do a little wobble wobble. All right, and here we go. And we're off. So uh, flying around here, what I'm probably going to be doing is uh, I'm going to do some punch outs and basically drop out of the sky because it gets very unstable. So here we go, punch out and drop. My hands are totally off of there. See how I'm kind of wobble? I can, I can still control it, okay? I can still control it, um, but, so I'm totally off of there. I can kind of tilt sideways, but I just end up, you know, the, the heavy battery's on the bottom, so I'm gonna kind of naturally balance out, which is actually kind of interesting uh, how it does that. Now, I'm gonna turn on air mode, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. In fact, I'm gonna get over here and point the same direction so that it looks, so we can kind of compare the results here. So punch out, let it go. Ooh, look at that. I'm just like falling. I'm just falling very, um, pretty consistently, pretty stabilized. Punch out, do a little sideways. Look at that, falling sideways. You see that? So that, my friends, is the advantage of air mode. The disadvantage of air mode is that your quad will go bananas if you hit something um, uh, what, with air mode turned on. So you have air mode turned on, you hit something, your quad's like, ooh, I just got pushed you know, in this direction, um, so I'm going to add motor, or you know, I'm gonna throttle up in the opposite direction to counteract that force. Well, that works fine if it's air that's pushing you around, but if it's a branch, well, then your quad just goes nuts. So anyway, that is uh, basically the difference there. So let me just show you that again, or I could just, well, sure, yeah, I'll just show you right now. Here's how it goes right now. By the way, my, uh, if you're watching this on the, uh, if you're watching this on the DVR, you can see that my OSD is kind of freaking out. It, uh, I need to work on that. So here we go. I'm gonna punch out, let it go, and then I just all of a sudden I do this like wobbly thing, and that's just acro. So that was just acro. Let me go over here again. Get some speed and punch out. I'm gonna kind of turn to the side and then see. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of floundering. You know, I'm just kind of floundering. Here we go again. I'm gonna turn it on air mode now. We have air mode on and punch out. I could go inverted. I could do what? Oh shoot! <laughs> All right. Well, shoot. I really, uh, really. I'm not sure what happened there, honestly. Why would it do that? Because I was going inverted. The only thing that I can think of is that uh, 
Um, I, mean, I really need to turn on turtle mode. That's unusual. We'll have to investigate that. In any case, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something on this uh, video about air mode and why you might want it or not want it. Again, the little spiral thing, that was not, didn't have anything to do with uh, the air mode, I don't think. I think it was just my quadcopter. So, Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. What else? Share this with someone. Uh, and just remember to be you. Unless you is a big jerk, in which case you should probably try and be somebody else. But anyway, see you next time. Yeah. Hi, I'm glad you're still recording. Man, that's the second time you got ripped off of the quad in uh, just like a couple days. And uh, now you look okay. You look pretty good. Not too bad. So anyway, I'm sorry. I got to get a better mouth for the one that's actually going to stay on the quad. Of course, on the plus side, uh, you getting ripped off of the quad on impact does sort of lessen the, the overall maybe damage to you. Of course, it does increase the chances that I won't have a I don't want to lose you. So, alright. Um, thank you.